Hello everyone, it's Ksenia Mir Brigilovsky again at 106 Moncalm Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. 6.02 p.m. Uh, the 12th of May, another video communication on my uh, life in Canada, my exile, um, overall state of deprivation, and effectively detainment in so-called black jail. Okay, so there are neighborhoods in Canada um, that are just ghettos. Th those are black jails or ghettos that are uh, financed and sponsored by um, crown corporations, the banks, credit unions here in Canada. Uh, so you can end up living in uh, communities resembling kibbutzes, uh, those are, uh, familiar with uh, Israeli notion of kibbutz. So this is where I live. Um, it's a, a small kibbutz community of uh, like-spirited imposters on payroll of uh, one dude or another dude implanted to guard certain immigrants for one reason or another or on pure suspicion. And they are um, invested with all the rights and uh, uh, abilities to just trespass on your property on suspicion alone, all right? So a few words, uh, first of all, on the latest developments, I'm just back from my uh, walk in a nearby park. It's uh, uh, rather warm, so I decided to see if I can uh, train and uh, work my bronchitis uh, because um, oh, for those who viewed my previous videos, I had a case of uh, so-called uh, asthma or mild asthma or COPD or name it whatever you want. So effectively coming from Uzbekistan um, under the stress and the constant attacks from all ends, I've developed some sort of um, respiratory problems. Uh, Non-inflammatory, I believe it's to be either a case of asthma, either due to anxiety or uh, some neural processes, be it whatever, due to uh, inherited features or developed features or a combination of both. I don't know. Anyway, trying to uh, keep away from all the steroid puffers that uh, my previous uh, walk-in and uh, family doctors prescribed for me. So steroid puffers are apparently is a thing to go with uh, and prescribe for anything and everything under the roof having to do with respiratory uh, issues, okay? Anyway, so while uh, driving on uh, Major Mackenzie eastward, eastward, uh, the big red uh, truck, 771, uh, old fuck, white dude driving proudly. Okay, so I've uh, sort of uh, cut through and uh, was turning left on uh, light uh, ahead of him because he was standing there and waiting for his turn to be exactly millimeter to millimeter to turn uh, left. Anyway, I've cut through and sort of uh, uh, drove my uh, tiny Mazda CX-3 in front of his huge uh, fire rescue truck. So dudes, old uh, white fox in their uh, whatever, 50s, 60s and 70s who are uh, happily employed on payroll of various uh, municipal and government organizations keeping their uh, payrolls rolling and their pensions uh, accumulated and accrued over years and years who are saving for their uh, kids' education, who are proudly driving their uh, red uh, fancy vehicles with the fire rescue all over it. Uh, same applies to the policing authorities here. Uh, while you were on duty, uh, earning your pensions, okay, and sitting all pretty with your medals and your credits and your awards and your uniforms and your fancy new cars and your fancy new offices and all subsidized at my expense, I was dying. My gym pool is gone. So don't give me looks like I've cut through the, uh, uh, whatever, queue. Don't give me those looks. You can go fuck yourself on your fire rescue ambulance services. I've died on your watch. I've died on your watch. Okay, so don't give me those looks in your bright, shiny uniforms and uh, fire rescue cars and all of this bullshit. 
okay? We, underprivileged Slavic women, traffic here as white slaves, okay? We are slaving here for 10 to 14 hours a day, being humiliated day in and day out. Every single interview you go to as an underprivileged, trafficked white Slavic female is a humiliation. <coughs> over humiliation, over humiliation, and then you end up being wasted because uh, social engineering on behalf of the government of Canada, RCMP, Bell Canada, or call it whatever you want, uh, saw you uh, implanted in the kibbutz communities with all the uh, old and dying dudes around sitting on payroll watching you, how you are dying all along with them, okay? How you are being molested, sexually abused, harassed, uh, uh, you know, raped and all of that. They are watching. They are watching, driving their vehicles and earning their awards and the, uh, wearing their shiny uniforms and awards and promotions and uh, pensions and all of that. But we are dying. We are dying. Okay? We are rid of our health. We are being rid of our dignities. We are being rid of uh, anything and everything under the roof of our financial stability. Uh, God forbid you have a child as an underprivileged Slavic woman. That's it. The life is done. You're over. You can just shoot yourself and the child alone because the child will be all fucked up now too, knowing what you've gone through and then uh, what you had to put the child through. Okay, well, you are driving your fire rescue ambulances, etc., etc., Okay, and what I am sitting here at 38, unemployed, with a, uh, uh, some Italian lumberjack rot of a house, uh, trying to freaking uh, uh, patch it up and repair out of the savings that I've saved up uh, through prostitution since over the years that I had to go through 10 plus get of workplaces, that I've applied to hundreds and hundreds of normal Canadian companies like Bell Canada, who me and the interviewing lady probably thought that I am too slutty or I am too slutty or I am, I don't know, in conflict of interest or what am I, was I overdressed or was I over uh, uh, in a pheromone hour that she didn't like, that she had to sort of uh, turn me around and I found myself at Profix Software with Christian Chilotti who was also miraculously uh, let go from the same Bell Canada and whose initials were all over and who is so resembling Dimitri Susin from my uh, 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 elementary school and my uh, grandmother, that that uh, all of those coincidences are just like, well, oh my God, pure coincidences, of course. Those coincidences are so to see us in financial deprivation, in abusive relationships, in uh, uh, poor health and uh, read of property rights because after we exit relationship like the one I had with my former first and former spouse okay Alexander Brookin words what Bell Canada didn't want to pay for the pensions that uh, the congenitally ill uh, former spouse of mine would uh, get if I were unduly um, divorced from the individual while employed at Bell Canada but that's what I was going through. All the normal companies colluding, colluding behind the back of underprivileged uh, individuals who are trafficked as slaves into Canada and they're being forced into illegitimate, fraudulent businesses, service situations, relationships, uh, while being surveilled in those abusive relationships, professional and personal, by all the imposter neighbors who are sitting there on payroll and trespassing, etc., etc., and by those big-ass companies who uh, keep their hands clean, and all of those uh, fancy dudes uh, riding police cars and fire and ambulance uh, uh, shiny new vehicles, and then giving you looks. What? What? Bell Canada? 771 rescue truck that was driving earlier today on the 12th of May around uh, 5 o'clock eastward on Major Mackenzie and Western Road. You can go do this to yourself. Don't give me looks. I will be cutting through. I will be 
cutting to over your dead body because on your watch I was killed. I was manslaughtered. So don't give me a look.